see I put the uh, Bowden tube onto the extruder switcher. Um, and um, you can see I put the filament in there too. So a piece of filament goes from here, gets clamped in here, the little clamp, and then down here with a set screw. It attaches right there. So um, this isn't functional yet, I just kind of borrowed one of the uh, Bowden tubes off my other printer and then um, the connectors also. So this is just for testing, but you can see when I move this, it moves up and down so you can so that's the entire point so this will move that up and down and that will move this so one, one issue that I'm seeing is um, there's a lot more resistance in the Bowden tube than I initially expected so um, it's going to need some stronger magnets to keep it in position because right now it kind of like has a spring back. And it's not exactly like the magnets right there aren't uh, strong enough to keep it in place. So we need to change that, but it shouldn't be that big deal. And then also over here, looks like that's not strong enough either. It skips instead of pushing it. Um, so all I need to do is put in a stronger magnets in here too so that it can actually push it up and down without skipping. Um, so it's supposed to skip when it gets to the end. So once it gets all the way up here, the um, the wheel will start skipping. And that's what it's supposed to do. But it's also supposed to have enough torque, um, enough force to push this thing through and switch the carriage. So that's the way that works. And then the next step is going to be these holes right here. I'm going to attach a, uh, the pieces of metal, so here and here, two strips of metal that are going to go down and then um, over and uh, they're going to stick out below the nozzles so that when the nozzle pivots like that, it will go over the piece of metal, the strip, and then it'll walk off that nozzle. So that's the goal, um, but it looks like it's going to need a little bit more work just from the different magnets and stuff. Thanks.